yes, continue flowing through my hair. Hmm. Ah, I'm sure it's doing wonders for the microphone right now. Awesome. I came home this week to work on a film project, and right now I'm not working on that film project because things are going wrong and off and blah, but I rented this equipment and by gum by golly, I am going to use it. Right now in my life, I need to be out of my apartment within about a week and a half, and I have yet to find a place to live. No, I'm not going to be homeless. I have a family friend that I can stay with, but it would be really, really nice not to have to move all of my stuff out and into a new place only to find a new place and then move all of that out and back somewhere else. I would just like to find a roof over my head and stay there and be stationary. There's also things going on with my job. It went from full-time to part-time and now I either need to find another part-time or I need to find another full-time and both are really difficult in Seattle, a city that is filled with a bunch of young people who all want to live there and all need employment. I moved out to Seattle less than a year ago, and just a few months ago I thought I had it all figured out after that striving and 37 job applications. I finally paid off my debts, I had a place to live, I thought everything was fine. But then things got set in motion, and time went on, and things became uncertain, and now I'm at this place in my life where I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I don't know what job I'm going to have in the next couple of months. I don't know where I'm going to be living. Basically, it's really stressful. It's my life and I don't have complete control over it. But I realize all of that energy that I've spent worrying and toiling and being upset about my current situation is energy that is wasted. Yes, it's true, I needed to allow myself to feel a little bit worried or a little bit upset. It means that I care about the situation and that's fine, that's healthy. But after I have allowed myself to feel these healthy, normal feelings, I cannot let these things consume me. I cannot let them stop me or slow me down. All this energy, I do not want to waste it. I want to take it towards being determined and working really hard so that I can find a job and find a place to live and just make my life work because I do not want to go home and I do not want to give up. In life, there are going to be things that are uncertain. There are going to be things that are not under your control. And although I hate that feeling, and I'm sure a lot of you do, the reality is you cannot stop that. Sometimes things cannot be controlled by yourself and you need to just breathe and deal with it. And then you take what you can control, which is how you handle the situation. I know what I'm saying right now isn't completely groundbreaking, and this isn't stuff that no one has ever figured out or said aloud before. But sometimes people need to hear it, and I feel like I needed to hear it, so maybe some of you do as well. And if you don't, maybe you will later. The whole point of me making these videos is not just because it's something I enjoy and something I care about. I don't just share my life because I'm this ridiculously narcissistic human being. I want to take the experiences and things that I've learned and apply them to my life and offer them up to you because maybe, maybe what I have experienced and what I have learned can help just one of you, just one person watching this video. And that is phenomenal because helping people is great and making people's lives better is wonderful, and hey, if I can do it, I would love to. The point is, don't let stress get you down. Try and be positive. Try and be productive. Don't ignore those feelings that you need to feel, but do not let them absolutely consume you. And basically, you're gonna be okay. Everything will be okay. I know everyone says that but everyone says it because it's true.